You want to make your first comic and you've never made a comic before? Well, there are five things I wish I knew when I was starting to make my first comic that could have saved me five years of fooling around and that will help you make your first comic in the next five hours. Plus, I'm going to share that while I'm making my next chapter of my comic. Start small. In 2018, I was making my first ever comic and I picked up a massive epic comic project. And guess what? I am putting my 100 days of making comic series on hold. I didn't finish it. And that taught me an important lesson to think big, but to start small. Right, so wrote the script for the comic in like 12 minutes. The name of the comic is called Ass Mind. And it's a story of an ass who is hungry and he was thirsty. And that is a story. It's a short comic, meaning it's like super short, probably five pages long. You can climb Mount Everest on day one. Just like that, if you haven't made a whole bunch of small, medium-sized comic projects, it's hard for you to make your massive, big project. So what can you do? Pick a story, a short story that you really like or a story that you have in your head. It can be a complete story on its own or you can pick a small scene from a larger story and make it a short comic. See, when you're a beginner comic creator or when you're a beginner anything, you gotta get your first win as soon as possible. And if you don't, you're just not motivated enough to continue on to this path. So how do you get a first win? You start small. This is the second thing I wish I had known. To not spend days and weeks and months trying to make my first comic, but rather make it in five hours. The idea of the five hour comic is simple. Take one day where you're relatively free, set a timer for five hours and make your first 10 to 15 page comics. You're gonna be fast, you're gonna be quick on your feet, you're gonna be running a sprint here with a singular goal of finishing your comic. No matter how crappy it would be, it's gonna get done in that five hours. That's what I did with my first proper comic. I did it in five hours and then I converted it into a short film. When you're a beginner, you have the ability to start things, but you haven't trained the ability to stick with and finish things. And this five hour challenge gives you a short enough deadline that keeps you motivated to start and finish your comic. And here's the beautiful part. You can always make your comic better later on. Don't create a story for your comic adapt one. If you have made less than 10 short comics in your life, don't create a story from scratch. Just adapt one. There are so many good tales, fables, stories that are out there in the public domain. Just pick one that you like, that you're interested in, that you're curious about, and you adapt it. The first comic I made, Starfish Story, it's a story from the Proverbs. And the next one that I'm making right now, it's based on a popular analogy that is often being thrown around. It's called the Brutian Sass. I don't know why they call it that, but I just like the idea. When you're a beginner storyteller, a comic creator, you mimic the structure of other stories to learn storytelling. And then you take those stories, you put your own spin on it and see what comes up. And then you learn patterns and then you learn structure and then you learn storytelling. That's how it works. Pick a story that already exists out there in the public domain, adapt it, make it your own. You need a character for your comic. And how do you make one? You keep it simple. To learn the art of character design takes years of dedicated practice and consistent learning. But we don't have time for that. We just need a quick framework to draw our first character for our first comic. I use a simple framework called the HBL method. It's called the head, body, legs. Divide your character into head, body, and leg. You have three different shapes. And then there are two variables you can play with. One, vary the shapes to come up with different kinds of characters. And vary the size of shapes to come up with different characters. You can literally come up with variations of so many characters within this method. So, easier said than done. If you want a step-by-step -step guide on how this works and how to apply this, all in 90 minutes, check out my character post workshop. It's a zero-cost workshop, aka free, where it teaches you the fundamental principles of drawing a simple character, then drawing that same character in different poses using this framework. And then you can adapt this framework to your liking to draw other simple cartoon characters as well. Links down below in the description. This is by far the most important tip that I wish I had known when I was making my first comic. Your first comic is not going to be your best one. Your first 10 comics is not going to be your best one. You never know which comic is going to be your best one. You just start, you keep doing, and you land one eventually. 
your mind will create unrealistic false expectations on how good your work should be on your first try. Your mind is lying to you. What is true is only happening in real life, in front of you, in front of your eyes. So when you drop that expectations and judgments about yourself and allow yourself to fail, it can help yourself like a coach rather than a tyrant. I just finished my last previous comic, chapter two, sort of sprinted it out in the weekend, completed all my pages. It came out good, I really liked it. The effort is the reward, not the result you produce. Who you are and what you make doesn't define your art. The way you act does, the way you make art does, the way you approach your work does. If you show up like a champion, you are one. Stop watching this video, go make your comic. The timer starts now. Folks, if you're looking for a proven roadmap to take you from a beginner artist to a pro cartoonist, check out my 100 day program drawing camp. Or if you want to figure things out yourself, check out this video I've made where I make a 5 hour comic and that will help you sort of make your first 5 hour comic. Check it out.